Hello friends, welcome to my channel in today's video. I will explain how to make crocheted baby shoes that we can use as gifts for babies for the new year. I hope it will be a useful video for you. Baby shoes are suitable for one three years old. In this way, we will create it from the square motif. The brand of the threads I will use while explaining the booties. Himalaya Baby Wool with Anti-Pilling Properties Crochet No. 2.5 Miwa Matters. If you are ready, let's start making the booties without wasting any time. Let's start by making a magic ring. Three chains, two double crochets inside the ring. Two chains, three double crochets inside the ring. Two chains, three double crochets inside the ring. Two chains, three double crochets inside the ring. One chain. We will make a half double crochet at the top of the first chain, but we will close the last three stitches with green color. Three chains, one double crochet into first space. Three double crochets side by side to the top of the bottom. Three crochets, two chain spaces, two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. Three double crochets side by side to the top of the bottom, three crochets, two chain spaces. Let's continue until the end of the row by making two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. When we come to the end of the row, to complete the first corner, make two double crochets and one chain in the last space, and make a half double crochet at the top of the first chain. Collar change while doing half double crochet through. Three chains, one double crochet inside the first space. Now the pattern will repeat itself in each row two chain spaces. We will make two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. We will make double crochets side by side on the top of the bottom crochets and continue until the end of the row.
when we come to the end of the row, to complete the first corner, make two double crochets and one chain in the last space and make a half double crochet at the top of the first chain. Color change while doing half double crochet. Three chains, one double crochet into first space. Double crochet side by side on the top of the bottom crochets until you reach the corner two chain spaces. We will continue making two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets until the end of the row. Two double crochet into last space, one chain, slip stitch into top of first chain. Let's fix the rope in the two chain spaces on the right. Three chains. Double crochet into the same space. Let's make double crochets side by side on the top of the bottom crochets until we reach the next corner. To the corner. Let's make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Next, let's make double crochets side by side on the top of the bottom. Crochets until we reach the corner to the corner. Two double crochet. Three chains. Let's turn the pattern. Starting from the second space, let's make double crochets side by side on the top of the bottom crochets until we reach the next corner. To the corner. Let's make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Next, let's make double crochets side by side on the top of the bottom, crochets until we reach the corner.
Let's make the last double crochet at the top of the chain. Three chains. Let's turn the pattern. We will repeat the same steps below, friends. After the first square we have made by adapting the color combination order you want, we will continue knitting until there are 10 rows in total. I knitted it like this behind the camera. After red, I made three rows of white, one row green, one row red, three rows of white again. I completed the square with one row of green and one row of red. Fifteen symmetry. The number of rows here may vary depending on the crochet number you use and the thickness of the threads. The important thing is, the square is fifteenth me. You can make two rows of double crochets in between. You can use the table above to increase or decrease the age or month group of the booties. Now let's move on to the sewing stages of the booties. This is how to sew the back side from the front side. This is the front of the booty. This is the back side of the booties. We will sew from the front side so that the first square comes to the front side. Eight centimeters for throat part. We will sew the back side of the booties in the heel section. We will create zigzags in an area of one centimeter. We will sew the bottom side. Seven centimeters for fingertips.
If you wish, you can also use pom-pom tassels or different decoration devices on this point. This is all I will tell you in this video. I hope it was a useful video for you. Until we see you in the next training video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Goodbye.